guys, so in today's video I am going to do something a little bit different to my normal art videos. I'm going to be looking around my Animal Crossing island. So it's been exactly one year since the game came out, so I thought it'd be fun to show you guys around my Animal Crossing island. It's still very much not finished yet, there's a lot of stuff I need to do to it. But I've kind of been taking it slow so I can enjoy the games and add in new items as they get added to the game. So the new update was just released today, but I haven't currently got any of the Sanrio items in my game yet. But that is something I definitely want to add in the future um, because they're just so cute um, and they fit in quite well with my theme of my island. So my island is called Roseberry. Um, this is my little character. Um, she's called Polly. I just gave her my own name. As you can see, she's wearing a strawberry dress. Um, I think it kind of fits in well with the theme of my island as I wanted to go for kind of like a rose and strawberry theme so lots of pinks in there and a bit of purple. I think a lot of people would kind of call my island a fairy court island. It wasn't really exactly what I was going for at the beginning but I guess it kind of fits that as I kind of wanted a forest that was kind of a little bit girly and magical. So I'm just going to show you around what I've done so far. So up here we have my little house. I've actually recently redone the um, exterior to it as I didn't really like my old one I think I just got bored of it but this is what it looks like now so I have recently just moved my house up here originally I was growing all my pumpkins up here and I had trees and stuff but I decided it would be better suited for my house so I've got a little pond here that goes down into a water fountain and here I've got you know my orchard and my pumpkins so this area is still very much a work in progress because I just moved it, but I'm liking it so far. These flowers are all going to be gone, but you can kind of get the idea of the like layout and stuff. Um, these bushes are kind of just temporarily just shoved there because I moved them to somewhere else. So this little bit here will, at some point, you'll be able to properly work through it, walk through it, but um, I'll come to that in a minute. Here we've got little red beach. Um, again, still very much a work in progress. A lot of this back at the back is, but here we have my first first few houses. I kind of want it to be a little bit overgrown um, and make it look like it was like deep in the forest. So we've got like the little animals houses here, some little footballs outside for them to play. Oh and there's Goldie watering my plants for me. Little pond. So this area again I think I'm probably going to change. I've changed this bit quite a few times and um, I kind of like the idea of having an outside library space especially since we've got you know the little mini library um, decor over there like this little cupboard thing I think that's really cute and I really want to include that in my island somewhere so I've kind of been moving this area around a lot but I think I actually want to put um, a ramp going up towards my house here at some point just because I feel like that's a better placement for it and I'll move that somewhere else um, I have actually changed quite a lot of this recently over the last few weeks in fact I've moved my home, my museum and my house um, and I'm probably going to move the campsite as well. I'm not so sure on that. But that's kind of why I didn't really want to rush into the game and just complete the island in like a month. I wanted to take my time and be able to probably enjoy it and collect everything um, and do what I wanted to do. So up here I've just got like, you know, more little islands and stuff. These will be more decorated with flowers and everything. Um, but you will see in a minute what I've done with the rest of the island so you can kind of get an idea of what it will look like. So. Here are the paths I've made, um, and this is my campsite, which I'm thinking of possibly moving, but you know, no one's there at the moment. This isn't, again, not completely finished. <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of leaving it in case I do end up moving it. But I really like the Toy Day um, tents, they look great with that, and I think I'm even possibly gonna put another character in, and I'm not gonna bother upgrading her house. So um, I've been experimenting with making little different size trees. I think they look really cute um, and it kind of gives a bit more of a variation and doesn't completely swamp the whole place in just trees. I want to definitely have more of these. Oh, and hello, there's Molly. So these houses, um, I've been playing around with their placement and I think I finally got where I wanted them to be and I'm pretty happy with them but the areas outside the houses still need a lot of work. And you can see here this little island here I never put down a blank custom design, so the whole island just got covered in flowers when it rained, so that's annoying and needs fixing. But this place down here is pretty much finished, I'm really happy with how it's all looking. So we've got a little dog here, small chairs down here. So you can see I really want to kind of play with this magical theme with these little star clocks. 
and the mushrooms there's something I definitely want to put more around my island and the butterflies as well but um yeah it's really hard to get the butterfly models for some reason I always seem to miss flick on my island so I've kind of not got that many but you know I'll get there eventually I really love this green grass at the moment I kind of got a bit bored of Animal Crossing during the winter because the snow even though it's fun to make snowmen and stuff it's just not quite as pretty if you get what I mean like I really like the how the how the green grass makes my island look where the snow kind of made it look a bit more boring and it just wasn't as exciting for me to play as you can see I've been moving all my hybrids very slowly over to this part of my island but in the future there's going to be some st um, some sitting areas down here and I want it to be a really nice cute area um, I'm thinking of possibly making this area a campsite I'm not so sure yet oh let's get a butterfly I am still changing a lot of stuff because when new items get added and things I prefer like different items in different places and stuff so I do keep moving stuff around but you know that's the point of the game you know I don't think my island's ever going to be completely finished I'm just going to keep moving and changing things around I think these are probably one of my favorite areas um, down around here by my town hall I've got lots of these little islands with secret pathways so that you can just you know walk down um, this is where my house used to be. I think I'm gonna get rid of most of this um, We'll see <laughs> and here is my entrance so you come straight up to my entrance here This is probably one of my favorite parts of the island I just think it's really nice that you just walk off the boat and you just walk into this little area here As you can see my beach is kind of very very messy at the moment but I want to put in a stargazing area around here and I was also thinking of doing like a painting area around here so there could be like a painting class so that the animals could come and paint and um, you know I've got a few houses on the beach as well that needs that need moving around um, for now they're just there um, until I think of somewhere to put them over here I've got this like little fairy area so these little fairy houses for them to live in Toy day stuff really really was lovely and it really adds to my island and it just makes it a kind of extra bit of magical having these little small houses and tents scattered around. As you can see with my flowers I'm kind of trying to stick to a pink purple pink and purple kind of theme with a little bit of blue thrown in and some orange as well. These paths I did make myself and they took me quite a long time it took me a good good week or so to get them all down properly and you know um, designed correctly as well to make sure they joined correctly and they looked good um, but I'm really happy with how they turned out so this area around here is my shopping area we just come down here little dog again from toy day they're so cute everything they did for toy day was really cute then you come here you obviously got Tom Nooks you can have a drink over here and sit down and kind of just watch what's going on obviously I had as I'm going with strawberry themed I had to pick this strawberry chair that had to go out I really like how the vending machines look they are quite weird for my island like they don't really match that well because of the woodland themed I'm going for but I actually think they do work quite well there and they fit in well um, with the fact that it's kind of like the shopping area of the island. They kind of stand out, they don't look like they should be there, but they still fit in quite well. Um, and I think that kind of makes it a little bit fun, there's like hidden secrets in this forest. And then here we've got the Abel sisters, and then we should come down here, we've got a little picnic. Play ukulele, you know. Just a cute little picnic area in the forest. Oh, let's get that balloon. anything good um no i need some more diys but i'm not getting any so <laughs> this area again is a huge mess um so i decided to film this video and then i decided to basically scrap half my island so my museum was actually up here and there was kind of several layers of um land as well which were all kind of covered in flowers and stuff but i just didn't like it and i didn't think it looked magical enough it just looked kind of just shove there. Um, I think I'm going to keep these little islands up here just to separate everything 
but the ram, the ram needs to go. As you can see, I'm gathering different items to make a play area, so you know, I'm just kind of shoving everything here because I want the playground to be around here somewhere, but I haven't quite chosen yet exactly. Um, my museum has temporarily been shoved over here, but I do want it to go down here. So I want it to be like around here. I think that would be nice. And I could put lots of trees around it and mushrooms and make it look like it's hidden more in the forest. My big pond is probably one of my favorite things about the island. It sounds silly, but it's just nice having such a big area with water and then you can kind of look at it when you're having the picnic. Um, the museum originally was in this area here, so you couldn't walk up to it like this. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it like that. I might put the, um, cliffs back up but I don't know maybe I can make a little fishing area we'll see my beach is pretty pretty messy really I've kind of just dumped all my flowers on there I had an issue last spring where all of a sudden you know it started raining a lot and I was trying to get hybrids and then all of a sudden there was just hybrids everywhere and I just couldn't keep it under control because it takes so long to dig all the flowers up so yeah, there, there is a lot of flowers. Um, I might sell them to someone in the future, but you know, I want to keep some of them. So at the moment, my beaches are probably gonna be one of the last things I do just because of how messy they are. Um, but we'll see. Um, one of the things that removing the museum did was open up so much more land because I used to have a cliff that went all the way down here and then the museum was on this area. Then there was like a pavement area right outside the museum with a fountain on, on everything. But I think this just opens up so much more and it's just gonna give it, make the island seem a bit bigger. I've been to so many dream islands at the moment and every time I go to them, I always feel like my island's really, really small in comparison. Um, so I kind of wanted to make it a little bit more open. So here I want a little fishing area for the sea. I want to collect everything that you can get from um, the fishing events and that will be put here. As you can see I've already kind of started collecting stuff. So yeah, it's very much a work in progress still. Um, I probably should have filmed this video before I moved the museum, just so you could see what it looked like before I did. But um, I've definitely done a lot, like in this part, front part here, there's a lot I've done, you know, I've done finish the shopping area and the first row of houses. Um, it is coming along quite slowly, but I'm, I, like I said, I want to take my time with it, so I'm not just rushing into it and finishing it as quick as possible. Because, you know, if new gay stuff comes out, I don't really want to be tearing parts of my island apart where I've spent so much time of it on it, so I kind of want to make sure I think about where I put stuff. Like, at one point, I had a area here where I put all my, um, materials and stuff. It was just very useless to me. I, it was just more practical just to keep everything in my house instead of being outside. Um, so I got rid of that. So that's one thing that's that's gone that I probably won't bring back to my island. It's slowly coming along, but you know, I'm happy with it, how it's coming so far. And um, I'm just kind of experimenting with what you can do and what you can change. And recently Nintendo have announced with a new update, which I think probably already can do do it, um, you can add in more designs. So, so that's going to be really useful because there's so much more I want to do with designs and things that you know I'm kind of restricted to doing because all my design slots are currently full, like I've used literally everything. So <laughs> my house is a complete mess. This is the last thing I'm going to show you. I'm going to end it on a, on a kind of a bad note. Um, I mean, it's not awful. I've, kind of got okay yeah no it's pretty bad I've kind of got a plan to it so I'll, I'll talk you through that so this is going to be my living room the whole thing needs completely ripping up and starting again it's a mess I've dumped DIYs here that I don't need so these are rare ones that are hard to get hold of so like I've got all the mush DIYs and stuff these are ones I've already got but I need to do something with them give them to a friend or sell them online or something I don't know what I'm going to do with them trade them or something but you know, I, I don't want to sell them to Nook because they are kind of rare and hard to get hold of. So this is going to be a kitchen. I kind of wanted to go for a pink sort of diner style. Um, I don't think I've been in this room for about nine months, probably. I barely done anything to it. Um, any of the house, really. I don't know why in, in New Leaf, I did a lot in the house, but I just feel like because there's so much stuff you can do outside that I've not bothered touching it um, in the inside as much. I'm not sure. 
I mean, my New Leaf town was very decorated as well, but I think I just had more time to spend on stuff because I was younger as well. So this room is going to be a star themed room. So I've already got the wallpaper I want to use. It's the star star moving wallpaper stuff that you can get. The animated one and I think that will look great in this room and I kind of want to use all of Celeste's star items in this room as well. Again, I've still got to collect a lot of them so the room's pretty empty for the minute. <laughs> So this room, you know, it's going to be the bathroom, eventually. Then upstairs, the upstairs, I think I'm almost done with it, actually. It's probably one of the only rooms that um, I'm kind of done with. Um, yeah, okay, I've dumped the dream bed right there. Still got to find a place for the mirror and the jewellery stand. But, you know, it's kind of coming along pretty well and it's one of my most finished rooms. I really like this wallpaper. I think it's so pretty and I don't think I've seen that many people using it. So, I, you know, I definitely think it's different and it works really well in this room and the flooring matches quite nicely as well. So this is going to be my art studio room and YouTube room. So, you know, I've got a little area here to film YouTube videos and I kind of want it to make, you know, my own Animal Crossing studio. So, my little character can make videos herself and art and stuff. I've just been kind of collecting stuff and dumping it down here. I feel like there's a lag of great furniture in this game, like there's some really cute stuff, but I just need some really basic IKEA-like furniture, if that makes sense. Sometimes it's too cute or too decorative or too themed to really fit in my house or what I want for it, so it would be nice just to see some really simple basic stuff, but I don't know if that would be, really would happen. Um, I'm not sure if they'll add much more furniture into the game now, but you know, we can see. You know, look, I've even still got my Christmas decorations up. Like that's not, yeah. All right, so yeah, that was my little island tour. It's still very, very much not finished. Um, I know I've seen so many videos of amazing islands, but you know, um, I was working through coronavirus. I think a lot of people weren't working, whereas I was. Um, when Unreal Crossing first came out, my shop suddenly blew up and I, st I lost my original job and then I started a new job. So, you know, I had a lot going on when the game first came out. I, I played a lot of hours in the first first month or so, but it kind of got harder and harder to play as I had more stuff going on. So I probably play like four or five hours a week now, maybe max sometimes even less than that, sometimes I don't play at all. Um, so I've just been like doing bits and pieces when I can um, and you know, slowly getting, getting on with it as I can. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it is a little bit different from my normal stuff, but I will be coming out with a studio vlog tomorrow just as normal. So don't worry about not having an art video from me that is still coming. This is just something I kind of wanted to do for myself, but I also wanted to share with you guys so you could just have a look around my island and see what it's like. Um, I am gonna put my dream address down below in the description. Um, I haven't actually updated it since like New Year's, I think, so it's, there's a lot of stuff that's very different to what you're seeing today. It, it, you know, it's before I've moved the museum and stuff around, and I think even my house. So there is a lot of stuff that has changed. Um, but, you know, it'll be fun to look around that. And I did save it when it was in a really pretty sunset kind of time, and it looked really, really nice. So if you want to go and see that, you can go and check it out in below in the description. Please don't forget to check out my other social media as well. I've got my shop link down below in the description, um, and I'm, you can't even see it, but I'm currently wearing, oh, I'm currently wearing my KK Slider record t-shirt. Um, this is available on my shop, which is linked down below. Um, plus my Instagram um, and Twitter, Facebook and all that kind of stuff is down there too, as well as my Patreon if you want to support me um, make more great content for you guys. Um, and you can also sign up to get uh, a monthly postcard and sticker set sent directly to your house. Um, all the information for that is on my Patreon. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time, which will hopefully be tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> Bye!